Welcome back. You guys ready to uh, get your draft on? Yeah, hit us up at the FF Dynasty on the Twitters, Instagrams, YouTubes. Visit the uh, website, yep. ffdynasty.com. All sorts of good stuff over there. You can see all the player pages and follow whatnot. along with these rookie picks. Yeah. So, let's get to it. <laughs> That's not the draft sound. Right next to the draft sound. <laughs> Who's gonna gonna be? I'm all, my team's on the clock. Your team is on the clock. I'm picking. Best best team name of the league here. Yeah, that's up for debate. But I guess I'll introduce myself. Picking a one nine <laughs> in the 2019 mock it up before you fuck it up. I myself for Jay Wayne's team Samaje Twa. Samaje Twa. I'm gonna select Paris Campbell. The slide will end here. <laughs> slide ends. Um, Jay Wayne's got a fairly balanced team. Got Kamara, and not that there's a running back to take, so really, right? you know, obviously maybe some people could argue you could take Daryl Henderson, Singletary, or Damian Harris here. I don't see it that way necessarily right now unless I had unless you had Gurley. Yeah, um, even then it's, I guess you could. I might trade back. Uh, but he's got Cohen, he's got Tevin Coleman, he's got Devontae Freeman, he's got Alvin Kamara, um, and then on the receiver side of things, he's got Keenan Allen, Alshon, um, Marvin Jones, Tyler Lockett, Corey Davis, uh, and then Corey Davis, who you hopefully you get something out of. But out of Keenan, Alshon, and you know between Tyler Lockett and Marvin Jones and all those other guys, you you can put together Jones. a decent starting lineup. And you have you got a couple. Say my name. <laughs> say my name. You got a couple of aging veterans over there, which can help you kind of get past maybe the year you or so that you might have to wait with Paris Campbell to be a reliable starter for you. Um, and maybe Nelson Aguilar, you can plug him in here or there if you needed him on some spot duty and or Zay Jones um, and see what happens. But I ended up going with Paris Campbell on this team for one, because I did think he was the best player left on the board. And two, you have some receivers that, you know, you can play the waiting game on Paris Campbell. You're not drafting him to be the guy. I think that Paris is probably going to need you know, a season. I think he's a little bit of a raw prospect. I mean, a lot of these receivers are. Uh, he's not necessarily a route runner by any means. No. At this point in his career, he that's didn't, basically the most, the biggest knock on yeah. him is his lack of a route. He tree. didn't do a whole, which is a common theme among a lot of these, especially the higher end guys. There's not too many that you're like, oh, he's really polished. Like, right. A lot of limited route trees, but you know, it was kind of just a lot of drags and goes and screens oh, from send my uh, man on that shallow cross you can't stop it for uh Paris Campbell here but he's he's obviously a burner uh I like the fit of the offense you have TY who's he's getting a little longer in the tooth Funches is only there for a year Deion Kane I like a whole lot and I, I want him on as many teams as I can get him on but you know it was just basically preseason hype last year uh, so Paris has an opportunity to come in here in a good system with a good quarterback and learn and and be a make your play in one day kind of guy. And I think he can develop into more than that, uh, but just m might need a season or two of, of refinement before he's ready to go. I think he was a, a fantastic player in a zone, especially if, on those shallow crosses coming across. He, f he found all the soft spots and yeah. little creases in those spots and just killed all that zone coverage. So he, he does that pretty well and then again you know if you just need a field stretcher he could do that for you um and hell you can kind of if you needed to you could hand it off to him um so a little versatility with paris i think it gives the uh it'll eventually give the colts a whole nother dimension i think he'll, he'll see the field this year i'm not saying that you're not gonna you know if you really needed him in a pinch you couldn't roll out paris sure. campbell but you know i like the the longer term he's maybe a little raw which he's a little older uh for a, a little bit more of a project receiver but he's not i'm not calling him a project that's the wrong uh, <laughs> that's, i like him a lot um it'd be a tough call between him and debo for me um yeah i think debo's probably a little bit less raw so i, I think no, I debo's fairly refined in yeah, my opinion right. like but he's also a little old if, if you need a receiver coming out of the draft to plug in in your starting lineup week one it should be debo if you got a, like if you got a team like jay wayne who stole keenan allen last year for Deion lewis in a second rounder and really mm. upset me uh, you know, if you got a team that's balanced like he does and plenty of receivers and you want to wait on maybe the second coming of T.Y. Hilton, I, I can't blame you. But if you need a player that you can plug in and, you know, you got Debo's a lot off the more. board, but yeah, De Debo's yes, off the board, but slash 
more NFL starter ready. Yeah. But Paris Campbell, who doesn't want a player that's playing with love? Right. Just Debo went at one six in the last draft in case you missed the recap in the beginning or forgot about it. Right. It, or forgot about it. And I, when I say player, I mean playmaker. Yeah. Not the you last know, draft, but who, the beginning of this draft. Well, yeah. Who doesn't? You're Sorry. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You're the, right. fir, the first half of this draft. Who doesn't want a playmaker? Paris Campbell, when you're looking at rookie board, his name just jumps out because it says IND beside him. Mm-hmm. If it's or Colts or Indianapolis, you know, mm-hmm. you're like, you could, it basically just says he's got luck at quarterback. Yeah. And, beside and his there's name. some big upside. Oh, yeah. Just out of the profile of the player. There's so. tons of upside. I mean, he was a high school running back. So I love, I love seeing that. You can and, see it every time he catches the ball. Well, the name of the game is versatility right now in the league. So, and yeah, he didn't run many routes, but he had 90 freaking catches last year. Right. So they couldn't stop whatever routes he was running and then i mean his his yards after the catch is pretty spectacular he had 87 percent yeah. of his total yards came out he had like a thousand yards and 800 and some out of them were on the right yak that's yeah. 9.4 yards after catch per catch he had almost more yards after catch than he did have total yards like that's <laughs> when you look at right. those numbers they're so close to each other right you're like which one's bigger but back to the route tree, there was a play versus Michigan in 2018 where they're in the red zone. It was third and seven, and he's running a corner route. And you see him lean his defender inside to like get a little bit of vertical push. And then right at the top of his break, he gives us this little subtle little hand push to free himself and get to the corner. And he's like wide freaking open. And you see that separation, and you see him get that stem up vertical to get the leverage inside mm-hmm. to bust outside. And it's like, hey, maybe he can yeah. learn oh, to run some I, routes. Hundred I mean, percent. I don't. I. I agree. Like I, I love some Paris. Like I said, that's why when you, we, I said I don't know if I who I would take him or Debo. Like, I, I, I got a hard time deciding between the two because I really like the upside of, of yeah. Paris Campbell. The hands are pretty good as far as wide receivers in this draft go. Most everything you see is handsy and away from the body. He did have 13 drops on 90 targets. A lot uh, of which, drops in the class, though. Which ranked him down to only it. 55th in drop <laughs> rate. Um, but yeah, that's what I was alluding right. to. Basically, most of these guys have a ton of drops. Um, but he's 55th in drop rate, so not the worst statistic we'll hear from wide receivers in this class. Uh, I mean, he's a great interview. He seems like a really smart, grounded, hardworking kid. And, you know, he's not going to take anything for granted. And he's he's already put there putting in work. And I think they're excited about him. And, I mean, how can you not be excited about having a playmaker of this caliber yeah. in an Andrew Luck offense? Uh, I'm down. Yeah. I love this pick. Yep. A lot of mouths to feed right off the rip here in Indy. We'll see how it settles out. But eventually – It'll be uh, a Paris Campbell to to uh, Andrew Luck show. Let's keep this thing moving.